As an illustrator, your time is precious. The faster you can sketch, draw, and color, the more illustrations you can create. Here's how you can use some of the tools in Clip Studio Paint to speed up your coloring process. Hey guys, welcome to Drawing with Abby, a channel where we discuss all things digital art. So if that's your thing, consider subscribing. In today's video, we'll explore how you can color your illustrations faster in Clip Studio Paint. We're gonna break these tips down into four main areas. Preparing your line art, paint bucket tool, clipping layers, and getting organized. All of these tips can be used no matter what your coloring style is. Whether you're cell shading, doing a comic book gradient style, or doing something a little bit more painterly, it doesn't matter, the same techniques will apply to your coloring style. So let's get at it. The first step is you want to review your line art before we get started with coloring. What we're looking for is if there's any major gaps in defining your figure or your environment. This doesn't have to be super detailed since we're relying on a tool feature in the next step. All we're concerned about at this stage if there's any obvious large gaps in our line art. Once you're satisfied you've addressed any issues, we're gonna head over to your layer panel and set your line art layer as a reference layer. This is this little lighthouse icon that's located right here. This will tell Clip Studio Paint that you intend to use your line art layer as a reference layer when you start applying your colors with the paint bucket tool. A nice tip is that you can put multiple line art layers into a folder and then set that entire folder as a reference layer. The Paint Bucket tool in Clip Studio Paint is fantastic, and it makes the same tool in Photoshop look like a crayon. Select the Paint Bucket tool in the Tools panel and head over to the Tool Property panel. If you don't see any of these panels, don't worry. Go to Windows in the menu and make sure both panels are checked on. In the Tools Property panel, you'll have access to some very handy features. First is the Close Gap feature. Set the sensitivity to about two or three. This will take care of any lingering minor gaps in your line art that we ignored in our previous step. Next, set your color margin to about 40 or 50. This will actually expand the area that your paint bucket fills so that you won't see any annoying gaps between your line art and flat colors. Finally, turn on the refer multiple option and select reference layers. Okay, we're almost ready. Create a new layer underneath your line art layer and start filling in your flat colors with the paint bucket tool. And like magic, Clip Studio will paint in the areas on your current layer based on the line art layer that you designated as your reference layer. What may have taken you a long time by switching between your magic lasso tool and jumping between layers, you can now complete in mere minutes. Play around with the margin and close gap attributes for your paint bucket tool to get the feel of what works for you. One pro tip is to separate your flat layers into layers. For example, you may want to keep your skin tones on one layer and your metallic areas on another. This will come handy with our next step. Awesome, we've already sped up our coloring process by a pretty significant pace, but we can do more. When we finish flattening out our illustrations, it's time we move on to the shading stage. Here, we'll create a new layer above our desired flat color layer. We'll turn on the clipping mask option on this new layer. With this turned on, Clip Studio will take a look at the filled pixels on the layer below it and only fill in new pixels on your new layer in those exact same spots. What that means is that you can grab your brush tool and quickly brush in your shading without worrying about brushing over unwanted areas. This can speed up your shading process tremendously as it allows you to brush in your shading without really worrying about whether or not it's neat or trying to be careful about your brush strokes. You can stack multiple clip mask layers on top of the flatted color layer, allowing you to have separate layers for your shading or your highlights. Experiment with different types of brushes or layer blending modes to get different types of effect. Now, the final tip may not seem that earth shattering as the last two tricks, but it can be just as important. And that's organizing your layers. Your document can get quickly out of hand and you become lost quite easily. 
Be sure to name your layer so that you can easily identify what flats or shading is on your, that particular layer. You can also make use of layer groups so you can easily collapse or sort through your layers. Another tip is to use the layer highlight colors in Clip Studio Paint. Go to the layers panel and in the top left, select the drop down in front of the checkbox icon. This will list possible colors you can assign to your layers, which can be a super handy way to quickly identify important layers in your document. By organizing your layers, you'll spend less time clicking through them and trying to figure out where you are and more time getting your colors done. So those were my tips on how to speed up the coloring process in Clip Studio Paint. What do you guys think? Were those tips helpful? Were there a few tricks that I missed? Drop a comment below and let me know. As always, please like if you enjoyed this video or subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, keep drawing.